Guided biofilm therapy is a scientifically proven method for the professional management of dental biofilm using minimally invasive technology and including patient education. Start by filling the water bottles. Ensure that the cap is tightly secured. If it is not, it will cause leaking. Remove cap from water reservoir. These caps are not only used to protect the water reservoir from dust and debris when not in use, but it also is used when purging the hoses. Insert the water bottle straight down, avoiding any twisting. Place the foot pedal on the floor. Turn on the unit by pressing the power button on top. Also, be sure to turn on the master switch in your bay. Turn water up to the highest setting of 10 by turning the dials on each side of the unit. Remove both hoses from the unit and insert them into the purging cap. Press the foot pedal once to begin purging. A blue and white countdown will be displayed here on the unit. When purging has completed, replace hoses and ready your supplies. Two different powders are available for the air polisher. Airflow Plus Powder is comprised of erythritol and chlorhexidine. It is designed for all uses of the Airflow air polisher. Airflow Classic Powder is comprised of sodium bicarbonate. It is only used for super gingival applications, but works well on heavy stain. Before refilling the powder in the canister, always ensure you are using the correct one to refill. Once you have chosen the correct powder for use on your patient, simply place it into the pressure chamber. There are two types of handpieces available for use with the airflow. The PerioFlow handpiece is used for subgingival applications. Only the Airflow Plus powder should be used with this handpiece. The original Airflow Max handpiece can be used with both the Classic and the Plus powder. To connect the handpiece, simply push it straight down onto the hose. Water flow is adjusted by using the dial on the side. The powder velocity setting is adjusted by using the touch screen on the unit. For the Perio Flow handpiece, the powder velocity should range from 5 to 10. The original Airflow Max handpiece powder velocity should range from 3 to 10 when pointed coronal to the CEJ and 3 to 6 when pointed apical to the CEJ. The button in front pressurizes the chamber so that it's ready for use. To switch out powder canisters, press the pressure button on top of the canister and wait for the pressure to release. Switch the canisters and then press the pressure button again. To connect the piezo handpiece, match up the connectors with the holes on the hose and press down. Next, screw on the tip until tight. Now, you can carefully remove the cover by wiggling it to loosen, then carefully lift the cap off. The water flow is adjusted by using the knob on the side. Power levels can be adjusted by using the touch screen. Our clinic has the PS or the straight perio slim instrument. The power setting for the PS should range from three to 10, depending on the amount of calculus and biofilm. The water temperature and volume levels can also be adjusted by tapping the zero and 10 at the same time on the touch screen. The zero to four adjusts the water temperature. And the six to 10 adjusts the volume.
Remove airflow handpiece by holding the connector firmly in one hand and pulling them apart. Insert the plastic Easy Clean device into the handpiece, rinse thoroughly with the air water syringe, and then dry thoroughly with air. Reattach the plastic wrench on the PS instrument by lining up the opening with the instrument and carefully unscrewing. Remove piezo handpiece by gripping the connector firmly in one hand and pull the handpiece straight up. All of the handpieces must be bagged and sterilized in the autoclave. Purge both hoses. Thoroughly wipe the entire unit and the hoses. Remove water bottles by pulling directly up and avoid twisting. Pour out the water and replace the caps in the water reservoir. Replace the foot pedal for storage.